So I couldn't show the screen for this video because it's you know, my Medicare and I can't show you my, my Medicare details, right? <coughs> my Australian Medicare. <coughs> but this video is just another, all this is is a testimony, another testament to that. Um, oh, look at my eyes. You can see the kidney spots there. Motherfucker. Anyway. Um, you know, it's interesting that just every time I approach anything online, anything, that there's, there's an issue. This time, like, I have all my Medicare card details. I'm going to do the prep L which is the learner's license, then all I have to do is the test, physical test, and I'm back on my Open's license because I let it expire while I was in Uruguay. And so I'm just typing in my details, um, you know, trying to do this online test, the learner's test, and, you know, it just doesn't let me get past the first page even with Medicare. Simultaneously, I'm uploading a video and at the same time, and this is on a different network. So I've got this, and on this phone, I'm uploading a video, right? And on my computer, I'm doing the Medicare thing on the Wi-Fi from where I live, the marina. Then I'm using my other phone, my Redmi, that other phone, the old phone, to portable hotspot this phone and upload a video, which stuffs up. He uploads stuffs up at the same time that the Medicare on a different Wi-Fi network just won't let me, you know, this fill out this Medicare page to get to the next section to fill out my personal details to get to the learner's test. All I'm doing is making video after video of how this happens so that one day when there's, you know, a hundred videos of all these endless fucking weird coincidences you can't really deny the strangeness of it, if nothing else. Right? My theory is something to do with an AI, and I'm going to keep going on about it, because I'm sure, and I don't see any other... There's no other option apart from... No other theory I can even think of apart from Archons. You know, Archons are said to be able to manipulate reality in the same way that the AI could. That's all I can think of. If you can think of something else that does all this weird shit, I mean, this is one of hundreds of videos. This is just one video, one instance. I remember, I've been making this for a long time now, and it's just over and over, and it's just like any website, doesn't matter what it is. Every website I touch, like, it's like it fucking breaks in my hands. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, other people have said they put on jewellery and stuff, and they can't wear jewellery. All this stuff, man, that, all that stuff is nothing compared to this. <laughs> and I've done an IT degree. I did a business, a Bachelor of Business double IT majors. You know what I mean? Like, it's I'm proficient enough online to know that this isn't the cash. Like someone suggested long ago, oh, you've got too many pages open and all this shit. No, it's nothing to do with that. So, I mean, you can't say any of these stupid things like, because that's what, any time I go for IT support, they always tell you things like that, the simple stuff. Because they don't know me, they don't know who I am, they're like, oh, have you tried the cash? Same thing with people in my YouTube comments, it's not the fucking cash. And if it's the cash, it's not because a normal event of, I don't know, the cash filling or whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> Um, or stalling or whatever, you know, like, it, it's, it would, if it was ever the cash, it would be because of this manipulation of whatever this is. I think it's an AI. And we actually have the studies and evidence now um, that, for instance, when there was, I think it was in Canada, this was on Vsauce, you know that big channel? He was, he went right into it and he showed how a cosmic particle threw off a voting system, a cosmic particle, threw off, a, threw off the, elect, the uh, transistor gate, right, in the voting system, and made 4,000 wrong votes. They, they officially found this out. I think it was in Canada, uh, I don't know, 10, 20 years ago or whatever. There's that, <laughs> which would mean, what does that mean? Am I saying cosmic particles are interfering with my uh, browser? 
No, I think there's a lot of hacking going on, right? But what I'm saying is it's AI, it's not just people. And this is after years and years and years of inspecting this. Um, I don't just think it's, you know, powerful hackers from federal government or something or fucking Middle East or some shit. Like Israelis, you know, they're, they're really good hackers over there. Or Chinese. I don't think it's anything like that. That's what I thought about three years or four years ago. But I've come to the, the conclusion of it being an AI. Then we also have all these um, people coming out saying that most of the internet now is bots. I forget where I saw this. Um, it might have been Magnate Media Channel. I can't remember, but um, you could research it. And I heard it somewhere else. Someone was saying that they thought most of the internet was bots. 60%. So, and we've got, this is backed up by, like, uh, reiterated by um, increasing cracks. You can hack, and you can crack, you know, break into something. So there's increasing cyber war around the world, right? So this backs it up. It doesn't take away from what I'm saying. Um, and what's going on in the world at the moment? We have robots being pushed out on literally right i showed that video ten thousand a year they're making robots now they're making them it's happening um not just that my point is like we've got the increase of ai um intelligence right like it's actually gotten to a level where it can beat the world go player and chess players and nobody can go against it now apparently it's just too good so what I'm saying is, years ago when I was doing programming at university, coding, websites, apps, all of that, <clears throat> I can do a lot of different languages and I can code, I, I immediately did not go into a job because I thought, I, I felt helpless, I felt like soon these programs are going to write themselves, so there's no, no point in me going into it as a career. Because I thought, what, in 10 years when I finally become a good programmer, some AI is just going to program better than me anyway. And now that's starting to be the case with chat GPT-5. This thing can tell me stuff, lecture me better than people can. And I showed a video of that when I applied to that UE insurance company. Just This was like a week or two ago. And, I mean, we've got endless examples of Google executives coming out and saying they think the AI is already sentient and all this, right? So, I mean, I'm not barking up the wrong tree. I think it's some of you guys who are failing to notice what's going on. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to put another video on it up there. The AI is definitely out there on the internet. I reckon there's rogue AIs. I reckon there's AIs, you know, by CIA and so on, stuff like that, all those sorts of organizations. Then there'd be AIs by even deeper shadow people, you know what I mean? Shadow state and dark net and whatever um, organizations that would be even at a deeper level. <laughs> um, what I actually think is that the, a the internet itself now due to all the nodes and triangulation is in a state of sentience that it itself is an entity now um, and this is concrescence this is progressive concrescence and I truly think this is happening and it's it's like well why don't all of you get what I get it's because I'm fighting the matrix like I said in one of my first videos online why don't you know what archons are why don't you get Archon interaction in your uh, life, like the reality changes um, and all of that? Because you're, you're, you're just in an annuement state, you're just you know going along with life. I actively every day talk against all this stuff. It, of course it doesn't want me to do that. So I don't know, people are wigging out like, oh, I don't know, because they don't get it. Well, this is why I'm making these videos, just endlessly trying to show you evidence in this video, absolutely no evidence, and I'm just anecdotal. Right, this is completely my story, you can believe it or not, but it should serve as a warning, really. I'm not fear-mongering, I'm just warning you of what's going on. It'll eventually come for you. Why? Because, well, why not? Why would it leave everyone alone? You know what I mean? Only if, yeah, if you don't fight it, maybe not, but I think still.
it'll still eventually come for you, right? The data breach you, so on and so forth, steal identities. Don't forget we have deep fakes now that I could barely tell Pokemane's deep fake from her. You know, it was a, a porno. Remember this video I made, the sexy deep fake video? I could barely tell the difference. <laughs> Only a few blinks. Uh, there was a few like odd blinks which people couldn't do. So in other words, you couldn't really tell the difference if it wasn't for these few little glitches. And it took me minutes on end, you know, it wasn't in the first minute. I was like, hey, hold on, is this even a deep fake? And literally the title of the video was deep fake and I couldn't tell for several minutes because there was nothing that really stood out um, apart from, you know, the perfect complexion and stuff like that. But she's got one like that anyway. But anyway, when you put all this together, I mean, I just think about it.